Hey guys, it's Julie Barrett with Conservative Ladies of Washington. I'm back today with another bill of the day. Today's bill is Senate Bill 5028, and this is another one of those bills that you probably won't hear about, you wouldn't hear about. Um, it's out of the 2000 bills that they passed or that they dropped rather this session. Um, this is kind of along the lines of one that nobody really pays much attention to, unlike some of the big ones that you've probably heard about and that we and other groups are doing a lot of messaging around. Um, one of the reasons why we wanted to do this Bill of the Day video series is to show you the, the web of legislation and how all of these bills are truly interconnected. And so today's bill, Senate Bill 5028, is connected um, and concerning to us in regards to some of the other uh, parental rights types of bills, a lot of the um, gender identity, sexual identity stuff that is going on in regards to minor children. And so 5028 is about revising uh, the way that the state does name changes. And this is particularly as a result, they're doing this because transgender people, apparently there's an issue with people being able to find out their previous identity, which if you're an adult and you've been going by one name for all of your life and then you change it, uh, there's gonna be a history and a record that goes along with that. You don't really get to just erase it and start over. Um, but where this is particularly concerning to us as an organization is along the lines of the minor children and how that would impact um, children and parents and the whole parental rights process. Obviously, if you're an adult and you're an upstanding citizen, you do what you want to do. Um, I think there's obviously an argument where we wouldn't want criminals to be able to change their name and have no record of their past having those records sealed. Uh, so that's kind of a different case. But as far as it pertains to minor children, this would allow children to change their names without parental consent. And it would also allow those records to be sealed, which the concern there is how do parents know what if you know your child went to school one day and someone in the school convinced your child that they were a girl trapped in you know a boy's body and that they should you know get gender changing hormones or perhaps surgery and they could do this if you go to this youth shelter or this host home and then they get this kid um, involved in getting these what are now going to be called protected healthcare services based on Senate Bill 5599 and House Bill 1469. Um, and so then you could see they're in the process of getting housing through one of these youth shelters. They're going to get these gender affirming treatments and they're going to get their name changed and parents well, they even know. And so this is a huge concern to us. And that's how all of these bills are really interconnected. And you have a big bill like Senate Bill 5599, which would allow for these uh, minor children to access these protected health care services without um, even notifying the parents. Um, and so then they get their name changed and parents don't even know what happened to their kids. So that's where our concern is here. And it's all very interconnected and it's all a very slippery slope. And we really need to look at the big picture and how these bills that, you know, 5028, the name change process may not seem like a big deal on its face and by itself, but when you wrap it up and look at it with some of these other bills that are floating around this session, whether they're in regard regards to um, putting mental, more mental health services into the public school system or granting kids from Washington and other state access to these um, protected health care services without notifying parents. It's all very um, nefarious and we can't help but look at that and we need to look at the big picture. We need to be um, taking all of these different bills into account and looking at how they all play on each other because it is a strategy. It's all very well thought out, planned out by the radical left Democrats and it's important for us to pay attention to these. So we would like for you to take action on this. One of our um, legislative action team members who is, I call him Washington's unsung hero because he is a single dad who is uh, working full time and he testifies on so many of these bills just to have a citizen voice there and giving input from uh, a citizen's perspective. And he's truly amazing. And he testified 
on this bill today and is very concerned about it, as are we as an organization. And so we would like for you to take action. Today was the public hearing. And so now the next step for this bill would be to go to executive session where the members of the committee, it's in the House Civil Rights and Judiciary Committee, they will debate it, offer amendments, um, and then decide if it's going to pass out of committee, which we anticipate it will since it passed out of the Senate and is now in the House. So we would like for you to send an email to the committee members and let them know that you oppose this bill as it pertains to minor children. And I'm gonna have all of the email addresses for the committee down in the description below. So you can just copy and paste that into an email. And I'll even include just a little sample of an email message that you could send if you wanna just um, change it up just a little bit. Uh, but really important that you send that as soon as possible. Today is March 15th, it's Wednesday. So if you can send it by March 17th, that would probably be ideal. We imagine it will get scheduled for executive session sometime next week. So that is your bill of the day. If you would like to get involved, we are really trying hard to create an army because we need citizens who are willing to testify on these bills and you don't have to have any government or legislative background most of us are just i mean we're all just citizens who are passionate about saving washington saving our children preserving parental rights or actually restoring here in washington i should say because they've already taken them away um, so we would love for you to get involved consider joining us become a member conservativeladiesofwa.com you can sign up we have memberships for men and and women and we have a legislative action team that meets weekly during the session and we'll probably go to every other week once we're out of session but we're going to be gearing up for the 2024 session uh, as soon as this session ends uh, towards the end of april and we would love to have you on board the more voices we have the more impact we can make if you don't wanna become a member, that's cool. If you would consider making a donation, that would be really helpful. There is a lot of time and financial resources that go into doing the work that we do, and we can't keep doing it without the help of citizens like you. So consider that today. Head over to our website, conservativeladiesofwa.com. And if you would, please like and share this video and be sure to subscribe to our channel so you do not miss another Bill of the Day update or updates that are gonna be coming after session. Thanks so much and I'll see you again next time.